One of the most important things that I've found out on my journey so far is actually the dedication, the amount of actually like professional behavior that you need to have is like basically what I want because I want to hold myself to a higher standard because when you hold yourself to a higher standard, you stop being lazy, you stop being a procrastinator, you stop being just an emotional little, like, you, you don't just follow your emotions, you, follow, you, you don't follow anything, you decide, you act, and you take accountability, and you're brutally honest, and you tell the truth anytime, no matter how shameful, how bad, how crappy the behavior was, you understand that you're a human, you understand that you can do better things. You, like I said in the previous video, embrace your higher self and you accept the lower self and you discard it and embrace that higher self instead. So today I really wanted to talk a little bit more about actually being a professional, being serious and holding yourself to a higher standard. And basically anything that happens to you, anything, Every, how the people talk to you, how people act with you, how people respond to you. Every single thing comes first to how professional and serious you are. If you just talk to somebody that's like being a jokester or a clown, there's just no way to be serious about them. Like you need to just lay down your like your like your barriers and your limits and your uh, like framework and you need to like make them respect it and if they don't respect it then you just don't talk to them don't even acknowledge them like you shouldn't care about other people that personally i don't care about other people that don't actually want what's best for me so like i'm doing my best to actually make the people i care about the having the best thing out of their lives and I feel like that's the most noble thing that someone can do. Maybe uh, like <laughs> doing as much as you can for your parents, your family, your loved ones, your wh whoever you want, basically your your pets, your, I don't know, maybe uh, your ancestors, maybe it can be whatever motivation that you have to actually drive you forward. And so I come to this point now where like maybe you don't have many friends, maybe you don't have many people to actually talk to, maybe you're, like, you, you aren't sure of what's going on, like you're alone, you don't really know what, like, what to do. And should you go talk to these people? Should you actually like lower your standards and become more of a mediocre person, average person, a normal person? Yes, because the normal, today it means just average person and most people on self-improvement don't actually want to be average they don't want to be normal they want to be better they want to actually make something for themselves and they don't actually want to remain the person that they were and the thing is there's a lot of people that still do even on self-improvement there's going to be like a bunch of categories of people where like people would like you could like <laughs> you could like switch around people and you could like range them in different categories and actually like it wouldn't really matter but basically there's a lot of people that are very similar and this makes me think back to when i was watching david goggins a long time ago where he was saying things like uh, i think he said like in a hundred people there's like 10 soldiers and though in those 10 soldiers, there's one winner, one leader. And that, that one, he, he aspires to be that one amongst those 10. And amongst in the 10 amongst those hundreds and thousands and millions of people, there's very, very few people that actually take life professionally, take life seriously, and that just like raise everyone around them to their high standards. Because when you do this, you stop having garbage people, you stop accepting, you start uh, actually like being a more of a leader, being more in your masculine frame, being more and actually like, if you want those better friends, 
those high quality friends, high value people to surround yourself with. That's the kind of dedication that you're going to have to need because well, they just don't care about you. And if you want them to care, then you need to care about the relationship. And that means you want what's best for them and they want what's best for you. And it's a mutual agreement. And so if you hold yourself to a higher standard, then you hold your friends to a higher standard. And this means that, of course, it will be easier and it will be like faster and you know, it won't be fast, but it will be faster to gain those higher like quality friends instead of just remaining average because a high like a uh, high like value person doesn't likely want to be involved with like lower self-esteem people because they already have everything and like the low 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 self person can't really bring anything to the table that would help them whatsoever so that's what i wanted to talk about today and to be honest like i've been talking with a lot of people on some like groups and self improvement groups some like whatever groups and there's a lot of people that have all of these like experiences and that mold the person that they are and they think that they they always think about themselves they don't think about how can i make the interaction as best i can or how can i make just a conversation like actually positive like a lot of people don't like <laughs> I found in the in the chats actually that not many people actually think about uh, like high standards. Like there isn't any people that there's very 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 few people that actually like keep themselves to a higher standard. Personally, I do my daily checklist every single day without like ever like skipping it. I post on multiple different groups on self-improvement. We have like a, a daily checklist channel and I post my checklist in the morning and in the evening every single time without fail. And every time I progress and I do every single task I can as best I can. And I want to do it even better because sometimes I think that maybe I could have done this better or I could have, I could have changed this or maybe I could have discarded that or maybe I could have changed this or not wasted the time over there or whatever. And basically, what you need to think about was I heard this earlier today and I think that's a really like big core to somebody that has a higher standards is that if somebody were to point a gun at your head and say, do as best you can today and did you do as best you can today? And if you doubt yourself for even a second, he's going to pull the trigger. If you don't know that you didn't like, if you didn't try your best, for that entire day, you're gonna die. <laughs> so basically that's what happens, that, that's the analogy. And it's the thing that if, if you expect that somebody is gonna beat you up if you don't do your best or shoot you in the head or whatever, or maybe deprive you of food for an entire week, then I feel like that's a, you can like simulate this sense of urgency and make your brain work even better, even more, more efficient. And this helped me a lot because I feel, I felt like these past few weeks, I wasn't doing my best. And today I really feel like I am, I am more and more and more like getting into this zone of in the evening, I feel more proud of myself. I, okay. Today I have accomplished all of these things. I feel really, really good this is great, this is progress in what it feels like. And all of these things that I talk about, you can implement them into your own life as well because the point of watching these videos isn't to just like entertain yourself. I'm sure maybe some of you guys feel like I am an entertaining person, maybe not, maybe I don't, I don't really care, you know? The thing is, if you don't implement what I say, I feel like you're kind of wasting your time and I don't really care. Like, sure, having more views is fine, but I'd rather have five people that like keep coming back to the channel and actually like talk in the comments instead of having millions of people that don't even like acknowledge me or don't even like talk to me or don't even care about the comments or whatever. 
The thing is, if you hold yourself to a higher standard, you will always be on top of anything in any situation. Personally, I found out that that was my biggest, like, it's, it's, a, it's a very, like, it, it sets you apart from a lot of people and a lot of people are gonna misunderstand you. Like, they won't understand why you're doing this. Oh, you can just take life easily. It's fine, it's fine. Just, you, you, you can relax, you can do this. Oh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Why are you so serious? Why are you so angry? Why are you so mad? Why are you so professional? Why do you have so high standards? Because you're never gonna get any friends. And that's just cope. That's them. Like, that's, they are like regurgitating, regurgitating all of their excuses onto you because you are being that kind of person that they want to be. Like, deep down, I felt like that was a really core thing to think about. So, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I would gladly appreciate it if you could also maybe leave a comment, some positive feedback, or a question of any kind. I will answer every single one of them, and I wish you a great and powerful day, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one. See ya.